Alcohol is toxic to the liver and there is no safe lower level of alcohol intake but the recommendation in the UK is a maximum of 14 units of alcohol over three days or more for men and women. That is equivalent to approximately one and a half bottles of wine per week. In the West, alcohol is the commonest cause of liver disease. Women are more at risk than men of alcoholic liver disease, and that is because women have less alcohol dehydrogenase than men, so will therefore achieve higher blood levels of alcohol for the same dose. Alcohol may cause acute and chronic liver disease, and the changes range from reversible fatty change to irreversible cirrhosis. This slice of liver shares a greasy yellowish cut surface and that is because this is fatty change. Consumption of excessive amounts of alcohol and binge drinking may result in alcoholic hepatitis. In alcoholic hepatitis you can see necrosis of hepatocytes and this resembles changes seen in viral hepatitis. Alcoholic hepatitis is usually reversible if alcohol consumption is ceased, but chronic consumption of excessive amounts of alcohol may cause fibrosis and, in some cases, cirrhosis. This is a liver biopsy from a patient with alcoholic liver disease. The biopsy shows two principal features. One is fatty change, and you can see the fat that has dissolved out, and that leaves these white round areas and the other feature you can see is fibrosis. This is a trichrome stain called MSB and the fibrous tissue or collagen stains blue. So the blue area is an area of fibrosis. The toxic effect of alcohol in the liver results in fat accumulation in hepatocytes. Hepatocytes are of course liver cells. The hepatocytes themselves are injured by acetaldehyde that is produced by alcohol metabolism and alcohol itself directly stimulates collagen synthesis resulting in fibrosis and cirrhosis. Alcoholic fatty liver disease is caused by a number of factors. The first is that Alcohol causes the breakdown of peripheral fat, causing fatty acids to accumulate in the liver. The metabolic breakdown of alcohol causes lipid synthesis. The presence of acetaldehyde impairs transport of lipid out of hepatocytes. And protein deficiency impairs lipoprotein production and therefore transport of lipid. This liver biopsy shows quite severe fatty liver disease where the majority of hepatocytes are distended by vacuoles of fat. Alcoholic liver disease results in a spectrum of histological changes including initially fatty change, steatohepatitis where the fatty change causes inflammation of the fat laden hepatocytes, hepatocyte necrosis, Mallory's hyaline production this is caused by clumping of intermediate filaments in the liver cells, eventually fibrosis may occur around the central veins and ultimately cirrhosis may occur. This is a liver biopsy showing features of alcoholic liver disease and the arrow points to a focus of Mallory's highline. 
Cirrhosis occurs in less than 10% of alcoholics. It may follow acute alcoholic hepatitis or it may present as end-stage liver disease. This liver biopsy shows features of micronodular cirrhosis. The nodules of liver cells are less than three millimeters in diameter and they lie in a sea of blue staining collagen. So as the cirrhosis progresses the liver cells will diminish and the amount of fibrous tissue will increase causing the liver to fail. Yeah.